Hi, I am Jack from Achievers, where we share about Singapore math and learn how to master it together. Now that mid-year exams are over for most of us, here's a question for those of you who are going to be sitting for the A-level math exam this year. Is it time to start doing 10-year series papers now? In my opinion, this is still going to be too early and definitely not the right time to start doing all the TYS papers. A simple reason for this is that the questions that is in the Cambridge 10 year series are relatively easier than our school's exam papers. So even if we were to be able to do most of the questions that are in the Cambridge exam papers, we will most likely still not be able to perform well enough in our school's exams. But while this is maybe true, this also shouldn't be the key reason if you are studying strategically. Although most of the Cambridge exam questions are indeed relatively easier, we don't really work for an absolute score in the national exams. What we work for is to be in the top percentile. So it won't be just you who will feel that the questions are easier. Any students with equal or higher ability will also find them easier too. And therefore, instead of using Cambridge exam papers as practice papers, we should be using them as simulation papers, which means we should be attempting them when we are really ready to tackle our national exam and doing this 10 year series Cambridge exam papers under time conditions and marking them to gauge where are our scores. So if you need to do more practice to get yourself up, use school's exam papers instead. Leave the Cambridge exam papers to be done after your school's final year prelim exams when you are likely going to be the most prepared for the national exams. By planning strategically, you will find yourself in the most advantageous position by the time when you get to the national exam, which is actually the one that matters to you most this year.